So I have a list of seven items. You have to say whether they're overrated or underrated and why you think that's the case. You can sit on the fence, okay, cool. but you should push it towards either one or the other. Okay. So if you're on the fence, you can totally give a reason why. Item number one is rucking. Do you think rucking is overrated or underrated? Underrated. I'd say underrated. Underrated, underrated. deserves more hype. Yes. Not a lot of people doing it. Probably because not a lot of people know about it. If you're not a runner, like myself, yep. it's a good way to uh, lose calories and yep. build a uh, better core. Some back muscles, muscles leg yeah, muscles, everything. absolutely. Yeah. And I think for me, it's also incorporating a PT aspect of it as well. Yeah. Like when I go rucking, I don't just go for like a 10 kilometer ruck. I'll break it up with PT, right? That's a good way to do it. A lot of people, jump into it too fast and they're like, oh, the heavy weight's 50 pounds? Starting with 50 pounds. There's the whole, what, 30% body weight? Like you're not supposed to go beyond that? A couple of us did 50% body weight up and down the Grand Canyon. That sucked. I can only imagine with the <laughs> elevation changes too. <laughs> Number two, hydration bladders. Underrated. Underrated. So you have even. to pick under or over, if you ha even if it's just slightly. Why you gotta be that way, dude? I have to. I'm on the fence for that, because normally it's like if I do a ruck like this, I'm not wearing a camelback. I, ha I have like a Nalgene, a one liter, liter Nalgene. Fair enough. If I'm out all day and, I, and it's hot and I need three liters, then yeah, camelback. So yes. if you had to choose between a Nalgene or a Camelback, what would you choose? Oh, Camelback. Camelback? Okay, yeah. so then Camelbacks for you would be underrated. Yeah. Okay. So my argument why Camelbacks are overrated was the winter argument. There's only a certain amount of seasons that you can use them in. That's not true. So winter... You put it on the inside. You Well, okay, fair enough. Mike was saying that you can just kind of put it inside your jacket, which is a very valid point. Gotcha. But yeah, in the winter time... Blow it back into the bladder. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the time of the year. Okay. Okay. Item number three, winter hiking boots. Specifically hiking boots designed for the winter. So usually they have a little bit more insulation. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit more expensive. Do, first of all, do you own any winter hiking boots? I do. Do I have to name all of them? So I do not. So I don't really have an opinion on this. Four of these are. Which ones? Four, Four of these? these? I know I'm talking like dedicated Solomon insulated. Oh no, no, no. So the, the main reason why I have them is for the insulation. Yeah. If I wear regular boots, my toes just freeze. They're the first thing to go. It depends on how committed you are to like being outside in the winter, right? Like how many activities are you doing in the winter? Are you into snowshoeing? Because if you are, then yes. But if you just walk around in the winter in the city, then no. It's like anything, you really got to take care of them you can't just like wear them and throw them in the closet i'm gonna go like maybe it depends right? maybe overrated depending on the brand it depends on the brand it depends on the person overrated so you'd rather have the option absolutely yes. to use a regular hiking boot and layer it up either with over boots or with warmer socks yes so, so what's your thought on just wearing regular hiking boots with socks like warm socks not For enough me, it's not enough okay yeah my toes still, well, I guess the other thing is because a lot of my boots are uh, vented. Yep. So they're going to get cold. <laughs> so I actually do the thing where it's regular boots plus the over boots if I really need the insulation. Oh, gotcha. But that's assuming you're actually walking in snow because yeah. you wouldn't just wear over boots like down the street. Own. I do have two pairs of winter boots. <laughs> okay. So yeah, one of them is the insulator one. The other one are a nice pair of leather winter boots. Leather winter boots. Yeah, those are like my office boots. I wouldn't go hiking. That's for looking hiking. fancy. I wouldn't go hiking. You can tell me if you're wearing any of their items, but <laughs> Arc'teryx. So not a specific item, just what you think of the brand. Overrated or underrated? Overrated at MSRP. If you get it on sale though. If you get it on the 30% off sale. Exactly, so overrated. Overrated, I would go with the same. 
over overrated yeah it's over it was like i don't think i've ever bought arcteryx when it wasn't on sale let's just say that sometimes when things are on sale it's still pretty expensive whenever someone asks me about arcteryx yeah. and should i buy that a thousand dollar jacket i usually say look at like outdoor research look at north face mountain hardware mountain hardware another great brand uh, yeah just because they're like a little bit more affordable for your yeah. kind of every day the, the one meme that i always bring up is i have the was it the alpha whatever the gore-tex jacket is there was an article on it and i can't remember which newspaper how like drake had the jacket and it was like drake has a jacket that only military can buy and i was like what do you mean i have that jacket it's like a thousand dollars a jacket but when you get it on sale it's 700 bucks my only fear is that eventually i'll like step on a rock or like scratch it on a rock and then there's a hole in it and then you got to live with that so that's the other kind of thing with especially arcteryx leaf people that use it they're not buying it they get it issued to them that's true whereas losers like us we spend our money on it <laughs> And I've got some under, underneath, underneath my outdoor research, I'm wearing Arcteryx. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Arcteryx, uh, cots, overrated. Arcteryx leaf. What's Arcteryx? Oh, like the commercial? Commercial off the shelf. Commercial off the shelf. It's like, I mean, I've been talking to guys that work for Arcteryx. They're just catering to the casual market now. They've deviated from I th what their, their initial kind of core was and they're just becoming a fashion brand like they're doing drops like supreme now i think the thing yeah like and you get like some of the weird like the weird colored arcteric stuff and you just see people wearing it on the sh like on the city street for no reason at all <laughs> is that that they're high end beach vacations Right now, underrated. Like, no one's going on vacation right now. If there was a beach, I would go there. Underrated, yeah. You gotta balance, man. You can't, you can't be you can't climbing go mountains every single time. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> good? I'd say it's good. Yeah, I know people say like, resorts are overrated or whatever, but like right now? But once in a blue moon, drinking a nice, <laughs> well, I don't drink that. Most of the people in your family probably aren't going to be on the same page of doing hard stuff. That's fair. Beach vacation, you can take everyone with you. And okay. right now, yeah, like just the word vacation. <laughs> Anything related. Anything vacation <laughs> is a yes. Yes. Underrated. We need more of it. We all really appreciate that. I have a hard enough time finding people to go to Ontario Crown Land. Never mind. <laughs> Never Southeast mind. Alaska. <laughs> the middle of the Nevada desert. Did someone ask you these questions? Or no. You came up with these no, questions? no. I noticed you're not wearing your Mystery Ranch bag. You're wearing your Go Ruck bag. What do you think of Mystery Ranch bags? Mm. Underrated or overrated? Underrated. They're cool and all, but... We're not going to talk about how many I have, right? <laughs> We're not going to... Okay, I'll tell you how many I have if you tell me how many you have. I don't know. I have... I use one for my grocery runs. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> I carry maybe 50 pounds of groceries, so it's like no problem. An interview for another... So, we've got at least two Mystery Ranch backpacks, but what are you wearing today? You're wearing a Tasmanian Tiger. Yep. So what, what bag do you use for your grocery runs? Which Mystery specific? Ranch. It's a longbow. A longbow. So, so that's I can not say, a small bag so if I go, or a cheap bag. If I, if I come across a deer and, you know, <laughs> side eyes, like, hey, that looks like a tasty deer. I could, you know. You can just put it in I the overload. Yeah, exactly. Got but it. I don't know. Like in Toronto, there isn't that many deer. There's around. not too many deers. <laughs> Maybe if you go to the Toronto Zoo. So uh, I just want to add, though, I did get that on a clearance sale. So it was only like 250 bucks, and it's a $1,000 bag. I actually got a very similar deal, my overload, which is also an $1,000 bag. You get on clearance. For I got bag. it from a guy in the U.S. Oh. selling it for 300 U.S. Sales, sales are key. Sales are absolutely key. When I get married, I just hope that I'd rather spend my money on gear than... Than a wedding ring? <laughs> no. <laughs> a mystery ranch backpack. I am also wearing the exact same backpack. So we are both guilty as charged. We won't tell you how many bags we all know. No, no, no. no. The very last one, yeah. hiking poles. Do you own any hiking poles? 
I do. I okay. barely, I barely use them. I, I think it's also because I don't go hiking as much as I want to. <laughs> Underrated. Underrated? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it deserves more hype. It's a love-hate relationship with hiking poles. Depends. If you're doing elevation, you got crappy knees. Yep. Underrated. I don't know. I'm not experienced enough to. On the on the fence. That. Unless you're like mystery ranch hiking poles, then yeah. Or our Carex. Uh, our Terex. We have Gucci. Uh, I don't. Poles. I don't think Gucci or Prada make Damn it, hiking sure. poles. But if they did, yeah, that would be underrated. I think. You know, it, it helps you with the balance. Absolutely. Yeah. First-hand experience. Yeah. Right here. Here. Maybe I'll. I'll show that. I'll show that photo of me almost falling in. Like right now. I was, I was holding the camera. And we're like, oh my goodness, Anthony. Snow. Water, snow, hiking poles are like an absolute. Well, that wraps up the underrated overrated gear review i was actually surprised with a few of them particularly the beach vacations i think you all said beach vacations were underrated and deserved more hype right well, now I mean, it doesn't matter right, right now, now <laughs> it, it honestly doesn't matter any type of vacation is good so it doesn't matter right now exactly but you know what if you can squeeze in a beach vacation once every two three years you know, on top of your other vacations and adventures, that's golden. That's that's perfect.